Early this morning, cruise ships made their way into Port Canaveral, the ships coming into shore on a blustery morning alongside strong waves. Brevard County, like other parts of central Florida, bracing for severe weather this weekend. I just out riding around getting a little exercise. Marty Himes decided today would be the one last good day to take out his bike. Taking on headwinds, we've seen even birds having trouble with this morning. And on the way back... Yeah, it'll be a lot better. Why is that? <laughs> Got a tailwind. In Brevard County, officials are asking people to prepare by doing things like tying down loose outdoor furniture that could potentially clog storm drains. The county says it's bracing for the possibility of flooding even in some areas. Over at the Port Victory Casino, a gambling cruise line canceled trips for the past three days because of the high seas. And another precaution that was taken was at Jetty Park. It closed its pier at 7 o'clock on Friday in anticipation of the storm. Right now the plan is to reopen on Monday, hopefully after the storm has passed. At local beaches, the county is already warning people of rough surf and rip currents. Every beach in Brevard County is under a red flag warning. And if you needed another reason to avoid the beach, Satellite Beach put out a warning about jellyfish and man -o war stings. Marty says he's hopeful that people are safe and out of harm's way as the storm passes through. Just watch out and take, be aware of your surroundings. That's the best thing. In Brevard County, Tony Atkins, West 2 News.